Hey! Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I just wanted to go through a guide on how to back up your save for Elden Ring. Now, this is fundamentally the same to Dark Souls 3. So if you already do that for Dark Souls 3 or know how to, there's got to be basically no difference in this video. But there's a lot of new players in Elden Ring, so I thought it was fruitful to make a new video specifically for Elden Ring for those players. Now, uh, I suggest making backup saves of your games uh, for a few reasons. One is hackers. Now, with Elden Ring, there's actually an anti-cheat program, so hopefully this won't be a problem. But I imagine that there's still a very low possibility of some certain hackers being able to get around EAC. And if they come into your game, or you go into their game, and they give you invalid items, it will result in a ban when Bandai Namco does their uh, ban checks every week. Um, another possibility for using backup saves is, say uh, you mess up an NPC questline and it's really important to you for your playthrough, you can reload your backup and get a second chance at it. Okay, uh, so we're going to get into the guide now um, and it's, it's, it's very simple to do. So first thing obviously is when you have your character and you're happy with the progress and you're happy with how everything is, you just uh, quit out your game and, and so it saves properly. Now, once you reach this screen, you can make the backup. So you get out onto your in, into your desktop, and then you want to click here in the search bar. Percent app data percent. You can just get out of the game now as well, actually. Okay, so after clicking percent app data percent in the search bar, you want to go to this file here that says Elden Ring. And then to this top file here with the numbers and go into it. And this first file here, which is ER, and it will have four zeros dot SL2. This is your save file. And so you just want to copy that. And then you can play paste it anywhere else on your computer. Uh, so for instance, I just have mine on my external drive in games. I just have an Elden Ring backup save file here. Now, I've progressed since I made this backup file and I'm completely happy with how my game is. So I'm going to delete this one and then paste. Um, and I always suggest deleting and then pasting rather than pasting and replacing because then if you make a mistake, it's going to be in your recycle bin and you can restore it if you need to. Okay, so now this is our backup save we have here. Um, I actually have the Elden Ring pinned to my quick access, so I don't have to keep typing in the percent app data percent every time. I can just click on here. All right. So now let's just get back into the game and I'll show you how to reload the save. Okay, so we're back in our game and just say, unfortunately, somehow a hacker has done something to your save. Uh, which is, I think, in Elden Ring going to be exceptionally rare because of the anti-cheat. But Or say, you know, you messed up an NPC quest line and you have your backup, right? So what we're going to do is just immediately quit out old F4, which is going to be safe as long as you're not playing online. Like, it, you're not in an uh, active multiplayer situation. If you're just in your own game, that's going to be fine. Wait for the game to stop running in Steam. It Elden Ring takes a bit longer to stop running for some reason. Then you're going to go to where you made your backup. So for me, that's on my external drive, but it could be anywhere that you put it on your computer. We're going to copy. And now I have it pinned to quick access, like I said before, but otherwise you can just get navigate back to the folder by clicking in the search bar percent app data percent. And you're going to navigate to this folder again. And then here. Just remember, always click delete first rather than paste and replace. So that way, if you make a mistake, the file is always going to be in the recycling bin to undo. And then I'm just going to paste back in my backup. And then from here, you can just get back into the game. So here we are. And I mean, obviously, there's no change between the two files because I didn't do anything. But, you know, that's just an easy way to reload your backup save. Now, like I said, I don't think you have to use this for cheaters, but it can be handy just to always uh, keep your progress saved as a backup so you don't lose progress if anything happens to your SL file or if you mess up any quest lines. So just regularly uh, remake backups whenever you feel like you've progressed the game. That way you don't lose your save if anything bad happens. Um, and also don't ever quit out of the game in an active multiplayer session. Otherwise you will get penalized. 
But here, when you're just on your own, it's going to be fine. Um, or you can just quit out, it doesn't matter, right? Um, uh, like, just do it through this, the system. Uh, also, one other note I'll say is don't trade SL files with your friends. So if you get a mule file from someone or an SL file from someone else, it will get you banned because your SL files are unique to your Steam account. Uh, and same thing, don't give your SL files to other people or you'll get them banned. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. You know, just always back up your saves is my suggestion, uh, just in case anything does happen. And yeah, uh, like the video, leave any comments if you have any questions, and we'll see you in the next video.